Oh, my glasses are dirty. Charming. So, <laughs> next we got uh, from October 14th, 2017, American Honey. From February 2nd, 2018, we got Once Upon a Time in America, the extended cut. Or director's cut, actually, my bad. And from September 25th, 2017, Moonlight. So, American Honey. That had Shia LaBeouf and some bitch. I can't remember her name. I don't call women bitch all the time. I'm just like, some bitch. <laughs> Finished American Honey, and wow, that was a long-ass movie. 160 minutes. <sighs> Christ, that was a long fucking movie. I thought it was going to be a regular 90-something minutes. Like, nope. It was worth watching and very oh, challenging, but hard to get into if you get bored easily. 8.1 out of 10. Accurate. <laughs> oh, man. Like, it was good, but man, that shit went on and on. <laughs> like... I enjoyed it, but boy, I would never watch that shit again. Hell fucking no. Mm mm. No. <laughs> Dude, I don't even remember what the fuck it was about. <laughs> what the fuck was it about? Hold on. I gotta see what the hell that was about. I don't, I honestly don't remember, but it was good, but I don't remember. American Honey Synopsis. Here's the synopsis of American Honey. Thank Star, you. Sasha Lane, an adolescent girl from a troubled home, runs away with a traveling sales crew that drives across the American Midwest selling subscriptions door to door. Finding her feet in this gang of teenagers, one of whom is Jake, Shia LaBeouf, she soon gets into the group's lifestyle of hard partying nights, law bending days, and young love. Ah, that's the plot. Okay, cool. Now I remember. Yeah, I remember that now because they were doing door door sales and shit. Uh, so, yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> and then, Once Upon a Time in America, while it was long and sometimes slow, it's pretty good. It's a De Niro flick. So, it has that. You got De Niro, Scorsese. Who else was in that bitch? That was a great flick, though. Uh, no. Come on. Mm, and there you are. Yeah, Once Upon a Time in America is from 84. Who was all involved in that shit? Oh, it wasn't Scorsese. My bad. <laughs> Who's there? Sergio Leone. Leonardo. Wow. Leonardo, Piero, Enrico, Franco, and Franco. Yeah, it was a good all-star cast. Who the fuck? Yeah, could, yeah, I watched the year. No, I watched the extended director's cut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because they had to cut so much shit out, but it was a great all-star cast. You had De Niro, James Woods, Elizabeth McGovern, Joe Pesci, Burt Young, Tuesday, Weld, Treat Williams. Good shit. I thought it was a new Nero. <laughs> or no, Scorsese flick. <laughs> nope. I was wrong about that. But yeah, it's one of those coming of age tales. It was really good. I did enjoy it. Confusing at first, but it pans out over the three and a half hours it runs for. Yeah, they had to trim so much shit out. And what they trimmed out originally ruined the story. So they re-released it with everything back in and it made sense i don't think i'm gonna buy it because it's a one-time watching deal for me but still a good classic 100 so 11 out of 10 out of 10 <laughs> uh yeah i like my de niro films i should do a de niro ranking but i'd have to look at all his shit i'm tired <laughs> so moonlight last one Finished Moonlight, and damn, that was good shit. Excellent cast, great story, and Janelle. Oh, fuck. 
By far, one of the best coming-of-age stories I enjoyed watching. It reminded me of Boys in the Hood, but in a singular format. Oh, yeah, because, um... If... What were their names? <laughs> I don't remember their goddamn names. I don't remember names, man. It's been a while since I watched this shit. And I never watch stuff when the first comes out. I always wait a couple years. Till the mood hits me and shit. Little Chiron? Is that right? Chiron? Yeah, Chiron. Little Chiron in black. Yep. Yep. Oh, my. Yeah, LGBT and all that. That was good stuff. Oh. Really well. That ending, the ending though, is so beautiful and eloquent. Mm -mm, definitely going to buy this down the road. Hmm. Do I really want to buy it though? No. <laughs> I always say I want to buy something and I'm like, nah, I don't really need it that badly. Because I'm picky about what I buy. And I've been cutting back on shit, so. So. Yeah, Moonlight was about... Uh, gay black love between two guys. I think it was Little and Chiron. Um, yeah, I liked the way they came up. That was, it was so beautiful and just eloquent as fuck. I loved it. I actually cried, I think. <sighs> Once Upon a Time in America... I did love that. I'm just trying to remember back to, you know, how I felt after it was over. I was like, Phew. Yeah, I was glad it was over, but it was still worth the watch because it was De Niro. Um, yeah, American Honey, though. Phew. Never watching that shit again. <laughs> and usually I don't have an issue with a two-hour flick, but god damn, that thing took forever. Fuck. <laughs> I was like, is it over yet? <laughs> I was like, you got 40 minutes left. What? How? <laughs> oh, brother. So which of these three were the strongest? Wow, that's a oh, man. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Moonlight would definitely be the... Let's see. In terms of where we're at now in the world, Moonlight would be number one in the strong category for LGBT. Although, from my perspective, Once Upon a Time would be stronger in terms of um, that gradual building up through the years and uh, coming of age and all that shit. So yeah, they're kind of tied. And that was... Uh, is it Mayor Shala Ali's breakout role? Even though it was short, it was short. He still made his presence known on screen. Um, what do I think of Shia LaBeouf? He's all right. He hasn't pissed me off, so I ain't got no beef with him. Uh, what else was there? Huh. Shit. What film, which of these stands out the most? Definitely Moonlight. Like, Moonlight stands out the most for me. Right next to, right, and then followed by Once Upon a Time in America, and then American Honey. That's my order of that. So, yeah. Man, yeah, Moonlight's a cult classic. Once Upon a Time, De Niro classic. Uh, American Honey, I don't know. Honestly, it's fine, but it's not my kind of fine. <laughs> so, if you don't like long movies, because two of these are long as fuck, <laughs> you won't be able to tolerate them. You might have a short attention span or some shit, so that's cool, I get it. If you don't like Robert De Niro, if you don't like Mayor Shala... If you don't like Shia LaBeouf, he's aimed for you. 
if you hate LGBT because you're a bigot and you need something to, you know, be discriminatory against, well, this ain't for your ass. <laughs> if you got issues with the black community, and you definitely won't like the shit. But if you don't, you will totally have a good time watching this. Or you might not, I don't know. Um, if you got a problem with A24 films, it ain't for you. If you're a diehard A24 junkie, you have everything of A24 but this film. You should get it. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to upload these first two vids, and I'll come back and do the last one for the night. So, stay tuned.